In this video, we will show you how to do facial capture in iClone 8 using a webcam or video files. You can first watch our previous video to learn how to do motion capture with Dollars Mocap. We will need the latest version of the Dollars Mocap main program and the iClone 8 plugin. The plugin can also be downloaded from the Reillusion Marketplace. We have downloaded the main program and plugin, let's unzip them. There are two files in the, the plugin directory. Then we open the iClone 8 plugin directory. Depending on the installation location, the directories on your computer may be different from those shown in the video. Let's copy the dollars markerless mocap directory to the plugin directory. Now let's open iClone. You can see our plugin in the Sunnyview Tech menu bar under the plugins menu. Click to start the plugin. Since there is no character in the scene yet, there will be a prompt. Let's send a character from Character Creator to iClone. After sending the character, we will reopen the plugin. Now let's have a look of the facial capture in Dollars Mocap. You can click this button to turn facial capture on or off. Before starting facial capture, we recommend doing a calibration. Relax your face and look straight ahead during calibration. After the calibration is complete, you can start facial capture. You can adjust the strength of facial capture expressions and choose a dominant eye here. There are more detailed instructions about these on the Dollars Mocap website. Back to Dollars Mocap, we can click on the gear button on the far right, and in the pop up window, check iClone streaming. In iClone, let's click the Connect button and you will see a Connected True message. Then let's click the Start button and the character will receive expressions and motions from Dollars Mocap. Let's use a different video. We can also choose record and then click start. This will record the expressions and motions to the timeline. Let's play it back. If you don't need facial capture of dollars mocap, you can uncheck face capture before clicking start. In this case, you can still use Motion Live to add expressions to the character, as shown in our previous video. Now we have added some other characters to the scene. Let's reopen the plugin. Please note that it is recommended to reopen the plugin when the scene has changed. You can see all the characters in this drop down menu. Select the character and then click Start to receive the motions. You can also switch to other characters. Finally, let's take a look at the result.